Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Sour A, and I'm back here again with another Amiri video. So I kind of wanted to go over what makes Amiri's so expensive and why they were going for such crazy amounts on the resale uh, market. Then the other kind of thing I wanted to go over and the inspiration behind this video is the pros and cons of washing and dry cleaning Amiri's. So kind of a video disclaimer, real life proof of why you should or should not wash or dry clean your Amiri's. So <clears throat> in front of you, what you have, what you're looking at is basically a washed, unwashed, washed, unwashed, washed, unwashed situation. So basically the very first pair here is classic Indigo 122 size 32. It's a washed pair. Uh, I, you know, I wore and washed that pair like 10 times already. Um, purposely kind of trying to fade it to see how it's going to look. The, the pair right here is my very first pair of mirrors to size 33 in a uh, classic Indigo 122. So basically these two pairs are identical. This is how it looks from the factory. This is how it looks after wearing and washing like a million times. So this, in hindsight, has been the most abused pair in terms of using, in terms of wearing, in terms of how many times it's been washed um, by hand um, and things like that. Because when I say washed, I'm talking about by hand, like in the bathtub. We're not talking about putting in a putting it in a, a washing machine. So moving on along. Here, I don't have the stack version of this pair, but in a brand new condition, but I do have the snake glitter version, which is the same exact thing. Um, and here would be the wash one. So these are number 173 classic indigo. And by the way, I haven't said it before. These are all classic indigos, all of these. They're all the same exact name of the gene. But they're just different years you know this is like early 2018 this is late 2018 this is early 2019. so same thing here um this was a washed one by me in hand by hand this is brand new factory unwashed untouched um, never worn here we have the 216 and here's another 216. so now you know you be the judge and you make the call, right? I did this, this is all my own personal knowledge and testing. Besides these, which I purposely tried to fade, I purposely faded them to make them that baby blue. Um, it's just like my most abused and used pair of mirrors. I just didn't care about them at all. Um, <clears throat> like I'll paint, I'll paint in those, like I don't care. Um, but others don't have the same situation. so. This one, I had a, like a little stain on it over here, so I spot cleaned it. It was my first pair of mirrors, I spot cleaned it, but it, it made a little fade mark. You can't really see it because it's very faint. Um, I know because it's my pants and I look at them really close up. This pair washed by me by hand, right? This pair has been dry cleaned. Now, you look at the pairs, right? I'll get a little bit closer, right? And you make the distinction for yourself, right? If you wash it by hand like this one, um, or if you dry clean it like this one, what do you think is getting the better result, right? You think that washing by hand like this made it look worse? Or you think dry cleaning like this made it look worse? Because from afar, if I go really far back, right? You might look at these pairs and be like, man, that blue right there is fire, right? That That's what you might say. Someone like me, I look at this pair and I'm like, man, that shit is dry clean messed up. Like they, they, they destroyed it. I call it, I call this pair here. I call this dry clean damage because it lost everything. It lost the entire coating that Amiri puts onto their jeans. So now let me step back and let me tell you about the coating. So this pair, this pair, 
and this pair are all factory right so they've never been washed they've never been dry cleaned this pair has never been worn this pair has never been worn this pair has been worn you know handful of times but it's still crispy 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 so when Amiri makes so now let's go into why Amiri is so expensive right so one of the things that Amiri does is he ages the jeans, the original ones. We're talking about we're talking about like somewhere from 2015 to 2019. What Amiri would do is he would buy a whole bunch of Amiri's. Well, a whole bunch of Amiri's. They weren't even Amiri's yet. What Amiri would do, what Mike Amiri would do, is he would buy a bunch of Italian denim from Italy in raw, just raw denim. Um, I don't know if they were pre-sewn or not, but they're they're from Italy, purchased there, uh, imported, and he would basically age them for six months, right? Meaning he would take these pants, for example. <clears throat> now let me get get up real close on some of the ones that are like super crisp, like 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 this one. Can you see it on this one? No, you can't. Yes, you can. Can you? Yes, you can. You see. You see these little like, like it looks like it's sticking out, right? You see it here. You see, you see. Oh yeah, you see that. You see that. It looks like veins. So what Amir was doing? Sorry, drinking some beer and uh, made me burp. So what Amir was doing is he was basically crinkling the jeans down here, up here. Right, he was basically, I'm gonna show you guys up close and get to the pair that I don't care about. What he was doing was he was taking the jeans and he was folding them like this. I can't do it with one hand nicely and clamping it together and leaving it for six months. And six months later, when, the, when he would unclip the jeans, this, 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 all this, that's what would happen. These are the natural whiskers. That's what we call natural whiskers. Because if you were to wear raw jeans for years and years, you would create those lines there at the distress points. To get that takes six months time, right? Which is crazy. Which is, That's a very long time if you ask me. You know, that's like me telling you right now, hey, give me $100 and in six months, I'll give you $600, right? You're going to be... You're going to be like, damn, that's, you know, making a lot of money and making $500 profit. But you're like, damn, I have to wait six months. So think about that level of dedication that he was doing. He's importing the jeans from Italy, which is going to cost more. Um, it's going to be premium. And then he makes them even better by aging them and creating these natural whiskers that you see up here, that you see in the middle areas, that you see at the bottom six months to get the other thing that he would do is he would take obviously these are all zipper pairs he would take the riri zippers right he would get these riri zippers he would customize them so they say amiri which riri is already a good brand italian brand also so to customize this it's going to cost money Colrex button right here it's going to cost money some rivet pieces over here. These are a little messed up. Take a look at those. You see how shiny? See how shiny that is? You know why? It's because it's silver. These are all paint uh, coated in uh, 925 silver. This is silver. That's why they shine like this. You know, this isn't like some bullshit. You know, like there's actual silver on the jeans. So that's going to cost money. Right? You see all these little distresses here and here and here and, and all this right this is by hand they take a dremel tool they know what they're going to do they come up with it and bzz, bzz, and they dis distress it right so there could be a chance that they'll do it and they'll rip up the gene and it wouldn't be good but they're smart now it's gonna be a thrasher gene right if they mess it up for example so that's what he that's what he was doing and that's essentially what makes amiri's really expensive it's they're imported from italy they are 
being aged for six months back then. Now, I'll tell you in a second, that was being done, which is ridiculous. They were being aged for six months. He was applying all this coating on them, putting silver on them, the best zippers on the market, the nicest fits. Like these two are called the Italian fit. And then this is when the fit started getting more streamlined. This is still really good fits. These are okay fits. They're, they're good, but they're okay. They're not like, they don't compare it to the others. So he's doing all this. And then he's charging $690 retail, which is like a lot of money, right? You could get a nice pair of jeans for $100, $200. Like I'm talking about nice, you know, like nice, like quality. You know, you, of course, you get probably Nike jeans, but that's not quality. We're talking about quality. Like, you know, if you find a no-name, like a not-known name brand that actually believes in quality, something like that, 200 bucks, you'll get top-notch. But he's charging 690 but look at the things that he's doing. Or, sorry, the things that he was doing. So now we're in 2022. So what does Nike do now, right? That's the question. Why are Amiri's so cheap now, right? Why did the Amiri's go from selling over retail, like six ninety? People were selling them for a thousand in the beginning. You know, um, snake jeans or whatever, two thousand, three thousand, two thousand dollar retail or something like that, um, selling for five thousand, right? Because of the quality, the craftsmanship, how they hold up. You know, like you can use, abuse, dry clean your Amiri's and then in a year or two, they still look like this, which some people are going to argue these are the nicest ones from all of them, right? Somebody older might want a darker blue and they'd be like, yeah, that blue is nice. I like that blue, right? You look at something like over here, I don't know how it looks to you. I know that I faded them on purpose, so to me they kind of look a little... um uh, messed up or cooked to me, especially when I'm comparing them to this. But they still look fire. They still look fire. Like, look at them. Like, to me, to me, they still do. These aren't hitting as hard right now um, with the lighting and everything, but they're still great jeans. So they last long. You can abuse them. You can wash them. You can dry clean. They still look good. So what does he do now, right? If you're wondering. So now you get one ounce less of cotton. One ounce. Used to be something like 16, uh, four, 14, I think, maybe ounces of cotton. And now it's like, <clears throat> no, it used to be 15 ounces of cotton. Now it's 14, right? So you get one ounce less of cotton, you get 6% more plastic, right? Uh, the multi-user or whatever the material is called. So you get that, right? Now, what about these beautiful creases that we're looking at, right? These natural creases and whiskers that he did. Well, now it's lasered on with a machine. It takes four seconds, you know, bzz, 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 done. One, two, three. No one's going to know the difference, you know? Someone that's serious about this shit like me, someone that knows, I can tell from a mile away it doesn't look natural, I'm going to know. But what about, what about here? Well, you need one button to close the jeans. How about we just slap in five other? Remove the the, the Riri zipper. Remove the customizing of Amiri. Let's just slap on five buttons. It'll, just, it'll cost us less. We already have to buy one button. Let's just buy six per jean. And so on and so forth. You know, you look at things like the leather. Like, this leather was crazy thick and plush. And even as you went on, it just, it got a little thinner. This one still looks bomb, but it got a little, a little thinner. I don't have the cheap new Amiris, the 2022 Amiris. So I, I can't really tell you. So he's doing that, right? So no more six month aging. I think he still definitely puts in the silver plated um, hardware like here for the rivets. But no more natural uh, whiskers and increases. No more 98% cotton and 2% um, elastane, right? No more aging. The fit is trash on the new ones. I mean, you, you look like, I don't know, 
It just, it just, it does it's not what it's supposed to look like. Like you look at these, these here, and these are like the European fit where like they have, they, they have the thigh and then boom, it goes down like this. Like that, those were the fire ones. Even here, it, it has the thigh and then it slips. It gets a little tiny skinnier, a little, a little tiny, almost nothing. Like look how straight like that is basically. Like, like, a, like not a straight leg jean, but like a straight barrel down. Like that, well, look at that. Barrel is straight down. And then you look at over here. And look at it. It's thick and it just gets thinner and thinner and thinner. A little tiny, tiny at, at the end. Tiny, tiny. You know, it's those are the things. Those are the attention to details. So, yeah. It's basically that. Kind of went on and rambled a bit. But, um, but yeah, basically, you know, you be the judge, right? Do you want to dry clean your, your Amiris and make them look like this? Do you want to forcibly fade your Amiris to make them look like this? Or do you maybe you've been wearing your Amiris for two years? Maybe you spilled something, whatever, they're dirty, whatever it is. And you want to wash them by hand and maybe you want them looking like this, right? Maybe you don't want to do it at all. Me personally, I learned from the past I no longer want to wash any Amiris. In general, I already knew dry clean was stupid. It's stupid that he writes dry clean only on the inside because, I mean, he wanted the jeans to look like this. Why would you dry clean them so they look like that? It just doesn't make sense, you know? Um. So there you guys go with, go with, there you go with the news, with the facts about Amiri. You know, I, I know a lot about the brand. I, this brand just like took me by storm. It's just, I always loved denim. I used to really be heavily into Trilogy back in the day, like high school days. I remember there was a brand called Tavernity So Jeans, which was like, the, they were the nicest jeans ever in high school. I remember I was like the first person ever with them. No one knew about them. I went to Newman Marcus and I picked up these fire ass jeans. This is when Trilogy was super hot. And they were called Tavernity So Jeans. They were fitted, like kind of like these Amiris. They were just boot cut at the bottom, which I loved boot cut at the time. But they were fitted, you know? And people weren't wearing fitted. Like people weren't baggy. This was like the baggy era. And they were a game changer. But Truly was on top. Two years went, up, went by and the brand went out of business. So when these Amiris came out, when I got my first pair, which was this pair right here, this 33. When I still didn't know, you know, because I thought, man, skinny jeans are probably going to look a little, you know, a little fruity. I got this pair. It changed everything for me. I was like, yo, these jeans are crazy, crazy. And I've been chasing stacks ever since. You know, stacks are my favorite. I love the other ones, too. I appreciate them, like the snake, snake denims or whatever. But like, you know, like. With the hole in the knee, you know, I gotta have the hole. Like, I have no choice, you know, if I want this one. Um, but that's kind of the sacrifice. Amiris is still my favorite jeans. Um, trying to basically collect every single pair that I like. Um, constantly buying and selling. I'm actually selling these. Today, they're gone. They're leaving the collection. Um, this was just an experiment to see what happens with Amiris when they get dry clean. Um, and let me just sh show again. You can see at the bottom, it still like has the green down here. Everything else is bluish. The green down here, because like I said, they basically look like this at one point, you know, but this is what happens from dry cleaning, you know, and they probably, they don't dry clean that much at the bottom because your, your ankles aren't probably dirty. They're assuming, but you know, all throughout here, all through here, they're going to dry clean. And then when they do dry clean, they can also do iron damage. Um, I actually have iron damage on one of my, well, basically my favorite pair, which is this one. And if you really, really zoom up on it, you could see it here. And this is me. This is my own doing. Um, this is just before I knew. Before I knew. So don't dry clean. And then one final thing. You see I have a pair over here. Folded like this. If you keep your Amiris folded like this, they're going to get lines. 
So you see like a line like this from folding is okay. But sometimes what happens is if you keep this for years and years, a color will be there. So I have like one pair or I used to have one pair where there was a blue line here, like a blue line, just straight blue from sitting around folded like this. I purposely did this and put it here to show you guys. Don't do this. If you want to wear your mirrors and you want them to last you a long time, you want to hang them like this, right? Like these have been, they used to be folded, but these are my first pair and they've been hanging and chilling for years. And, and look how they look. Perfect, you know? So there you go. There's the video. Ramble, rambled on a lot, but you know, you could see, uh, see more pairs. And once again, you know, Washed, unwashed, washed, unwashed, dry cleaned, unwashed, undry cleaned, factory. So the ones on the right are factory, the ones on the left are all washed or dry cleaned. And there you go it, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Amiri things, um, hoodies, whatever, uh, just drop a comment, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll be sure to drop, drop info, and drop a new vid. Alright guys, thanks, peace.